Innis College is the smallest of the seven colleges at U of T with only 2,000 students. And that's great because it means that you know everyone in your college and they know you. In a campus as big as U of T with 80,000 students, it's nice to have a close-knit community always there for you. Having a small college means that it won't be hard to find the buildings because, hey, there's only two. In the college, you'll find the registrar's office. The registrars are there to give you financial and academic advice, like what classes you should take to complete your degree and help you with tuition and scholarships. Next is the principal's office. Here resides the principal of the college and administration like course coordinators and college support staff. The college's big attraction is the Town Hall. It's our movie theater. Every Friday, free films are presented by the Cinema Student Union. Sometimes they even show films before they're released in theaters. Near the back of the building is the Innis Cafe. It's U of T's best kept culinary secret. They have a fresh juice bar, lots of breakfast options for when you're running late to class, and a fantastic lunch menu. If you go even further back into the building, you'll find the Innis College Student Society. The ICSS, as we like to call it, are the elected student government that plan all the fun activities Innis College students get to do, like Frosh Week, Innis Formal, athletic teams, Innis Clubs, and other monthly activities. Across the way is the Innis Commuter Lounge. There, you can play foosball, hang out with your friends, heat up some food, or even study. If there's too much fun there for you to study, there are a lot of other quiet places for you to get your work done. There's the Innis Library, third floor study cubicles, and the second floor lounge. If you can't get enough of what the college has to offer, be sure to head on over to the Innis Residence, right across the street. You don't have to live in the residence to hang out there. You can chill the front desk or in the events room. In the lobby, there's always a person at the front desk, 24-7. They're there for questions, friendship, and your safety. The Innis Events Room has lots of meetings, workshops, events, and open mic nights, but the room is used mostly for studying. You can always pop into the Office of Student Life. They are there to give you info about getting involved in Innis or at the University. The OSL has a lot of programming for leadership, mentorship, and events to help you prepare for finding a job once you leave University. And if the OSL is not there, the residence dots have their office hours in the evenings to give you all the advice and upper year can give. The residence lobby is open to all U of T students, but if you live in the building, you get a few more perks. For those of you who don't live in the building, make friends with someone who does. If you live here, you get access to the games room where you can play some pool or ping pong to get rid of the stress of studying. The residence also has a gym if you want to take that long walk to the athletic center. We have laundry rooms so your parents have to do a mountain of laundry as soon as you get home. We also have a community lounge for studying and hanging out. We call it the fishbowl because, well, there are fishes in it. And we have a TV room, which has comfy chairs and a place to watch your favorite TV shows or play Xbox. If you live here, you also get the perk of having a suite. It's pretty much your own apartment that you get to share with three or four other students. You get a kitchen that comes with a fridge, an oven, a microwave, and a stove. It also comes with the living room, where you can complain about your day to your roommates. You and your suite mates are paired up with a questionnaire at the beginning of the year, so you can be matched up with the people you like the most. And it has two washrooms in case someone is in one and you also have to go. Finally, you get your own private room to sleep in. Unlike most residences, you don't have to share it with anyone. It comes with your own desk, lots of storage space, and a cozy bed. Venus Residence also has an elected student council called the IRC that provides monthly activities for students living in the building. Overall, this is a pretty great college to be a part of. Whether you're living in the residence or just spending your days at the college, it's a wonderful, big family away from home.